वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी वर डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑयलर्स थ्योरम फॉर होमोजेनस फंक्शन फॉर एन वेरिएबल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द ऑयलर्स थ्योरम फॉर होमोजेनस फंक्शन फॉर टू वेरिएबल दोस हु हैव नॉट गो थ्रू विद दैट थ्योरम द लिंक ऑफ दैट थ्योरम यू कैन फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम दिस आइकॉन so let us try to state what is the theorem says let f be a function which is the n variable function so that's why it is defined over d which is a subset of r raised to n to r of variables x1 x2 up to xn to that f is homogeneous function of degree m if and only if x1 fx x2 fx2 to xn f xn equal to m f those who are not till watch the video on homogeneous function the homogeneous function video also you can have in i button here you can go through with that homogeneous function definition so here the homogeneous functions of degree m in variable x1 x2 of xn is given If and only if you have to prove that this expression, the the proof of this result is actually the same as the proof of uh, Euler's theorem for two variables. So it's just extended version of uh, that theorem we are discussing here. So suppose that f of x one, x two up to x n is a homogeneous function of degree m. Therefore, what we have is we have f of T x one, T x two, up to T x n will be T power m f of x one, x two, up to x. Now we assume that x one is equal to T x one, x two will be T x two, up to so on. X n will be T x. If I assume this is as a variable. Now what is the situation? You have a function f, which is a function of n variables. Which is x1, x2, up to xn, and this x1 that are capital x1, capital x2, capital xn. This x1, x2, up to xn are the functions of t. So, if you want to discuss the derivative of this function f with respect to t, we can have del f upon del x1 into d x1 upon d. Plus del f upon del x2 into d x2 upon d up to so on del f x n into d x n upon d equal to the derivative of this side we have m t power m minus one f of x1 x2 up to x n as it is. Now what is d x1 upon d t? The derivative of this quantity with respect to t, so that will be x1 f x1 that I am writing in the short form. This will be also small x2 f capital x2 up to so on x n f x n. This is capital x equal to m t power n minus one. Into f. I'm just not writing now x1, x2, x and so on. Here, you you just understood that. Now, what is I'm multiplying t both sides. So this is multiplying t over here. We have this. This will become t power m by if I multiply t here. And if I just substitute the value of capital X, capital X2 up to capital X n, we'll have this is. Capital X one F X one capital X two F X two up to so on capital X n F X n equal to m t power m f of X one X two up to X n and this expression is true for every t so hence I'm particular I'm putting t equal to one into this expression. This capital X one will convert into the small x one. So we have small x one f x one x two 
fx2 up to xn f xn will be m this t is 1 f so that completes the proof of the one side that's the f is homogeneous then it will satisfy this expression now conversely suppose that f satisfies this expression that is x1 fx1 x2 fx2 up to xn fxn is equal to mf now let us assume here u of x1 x2 up to xn as f of tx1 tx2 up to tx because i want to prove that it is homogeneous function so I'm just assuming this is as this one and V will be just f of x1, x2 of x1. This is my function I assume. Also, I require that to assume that f capital X1 is Tx1, capital X2 is Tx2, up to so on capital Xn is Txn. Now what is u of x1 x2 of 2 xn we start with that this will be f of capital x1 capital x2 of 2 capital xn if i because we have assumed this is your u by substituting the value of this tx1 which is capital x1 capital x2 of 2 capital xn will have this now if i take the partial derivative of this with respect to t both sides situation is u is a function of capital x1 x2 of 2 xn and this x1 x2 of 2 xn are the functions of t so that's why it is du by dt because ultimately your u is a function of t only by that expression we can this side can be written as del f upon del x1 dx1 upon dt del f upon del x2 dx2 upon dt up to so on del f upon del xn dxn upon dt now what is dx1 upon dt that is the derivative of this with respect to t which will give you x1 del f upon del x1 x2 del f upon del x2 up to so on xn del f upon del xn if i multiply both sides by t we'll have du by dt equal to here you multiply t here so that's why you have t and this tx1 tx2 and txn is nothing but the capital X1 this is capital X2 and this is capital Xn and so we have this expression now let us write down that expression again that is T du by dt equal to capital X1 del f upon del X1 capital X2 del f upon del X2 up to so on capital Xn del f upon del Xn now where this expression we have, since this expression which we have assumed that is this is true for any x1, x2, xn due to this we can say this is mf so this side is mf but this f is nothing but the capital x1, capital x2 of 2, capital x that is m into u because we have assumed this quantity as u therefore it is t du by dt so this is the differential equation we'll have in terms of u and d we need to solve that differential equation that is du by u is equal to m dt by t so which implies that if i integrate both sides ln is equal to m ln t plus ln c which is the integrating constant so we have the u equal to c into t power m 
Now this is a differential equation. The solution of that differential equation is this and this c is unknown. So in particular I am taking t equal to 1. So if t is equal to 1, we will have u is equal to c. And what is the value of u? u is nothing but the capital X1, capital X4, capital X. If t is 1, then this u will convert into small x1, small x4 to small x2, which is nothing but the f of x1, x2, which is b. So if t is 1, u is converted into b and the value of c is will be b. So finally what we have u equal to v into t power m and what is the u which we can write down that is capital X1, capital X2, capital Xn, t power m as it is and cap v will be f of x1, x2 of 2xn. So that's for this will be f of t x1, t x2 of t x n equal to t power m f of x1, x2 of 2 x f is homogeneous of degree m. So this completes the proof of Euler's theorem for n variable function. Let's have one of the examples. Let's u is equal to ln of xy plus yz plus xz upon x square plus y square plus z square. The question is to calculate x ux plus y ui plus z ux. So this is the u is given. Now whenever this type of expression is there, you just need to check whether the given function is homogeneous functions or not. So what is the u of x, y, z instead of I am just replacing t x, t y, t z. That will be ln of t square of x, y plus y, z plus x, z. Because here t x is there, t y is there. So t square is common out from the numerator and the denominator is also t square is common out. So this is t square x square plus y square plus x square. So hence this t square will get cancelled out, we will have ln of xy plus yz plus xz upon x square plus y square plus z square which we can write as t power 0 into u of xyz. So therefore u is the homogeneous function of degree 0 in variable x, y and z. So in variable x, y, z, this is the homogeneous function. And so by Euler's theorem, the value of this one is 0 into u, which is 0. So in this video lecture, we have discussed about the Euler's theorem for n variable function. If you have liked this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or question, please drop down in a comment box below. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, sign out.